Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of. Oh, my chair burned away. Okay, that's okay. Scrap mechanic. This is my sword. This is the sword that we're all gonna be fighting over in the big finale of the series of the medieval fantasy world, which is coming soon. I don't know exactly when, but soon. But um, this is my other sword. And this is a sword catapult. And this sword catapult was made by Invervisla. And I thought it would be really cool to see what a sword catapult is all about. Because I've never heard of a sword catapult before. And this is a catapult shaped like a sword. So I'm going to press buttons and watch it do the thing. Oh boy, our sword catapult is pointing at our other sword. I don't... I don't know if this is going to go well. I didn't intentionally do that. I just welded it. And I didn't know what direction it was going to be facing in. But I think we just got to press this button. And I'm pretty sure that launches it. So here goes nothing. Sword catapult for the win. Go! Oh, look at that. Um, was that supposed to... Is this supposed to... Ah! Well, I guess it's supposed to explode when it hits the ground. It's just the sensor has to actually detect something. And it happened to not detect anything. And then I think... We can... Oh, I think we were supposed to... Um... Hold on. Wait. Oh. Oh, whoops. I think we broke it. We broke the sword catapult. I'm sorry. It was not... Wait, 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 wait. I can do this. There we go. Then there we go. And there we go. Look at that. And that's how you reset the sword catapult. How to... Loaded again is another story, but um, we got to see it in action and it's a fantastic concept. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at a variety of creations. We're going to be wrapping up the medieval fantasy world in the coming episodes. We're just kind of getting our last hurrah here, looking at some cool things that have been submitted a long time ago that I never got around to, as well as some new things. And uh, we need to populate some of the orc area. So it's going to be somewhat of a busy episode, but I'm really looking forward to what we're going to see, like sword catapults. Okay, we are over at Dragon Mountain because we got this cool looking skeletal dragon head by Space Run 44. So we're just gonna spawn this thing in. I'm kind of at like a plateau edge thing and I figured that we can go ahead and just weld this on the ground here and I think that'll work good. Does this have, oh, it has bearings for the eyes. But I don't think the, it doesn't have any moving parts, which is great. Not gonna really add to the lag in the world. So we're just gonna weld this thing here as a decorative uh, piece. Oh, to, this doesn't seem to be working. Hold, hold on. There we go. Now we got a dragon head in the world. So there's actually uh, some other dragon submissions that have been submitted in recent time. So actually one of the more recent submissions is a dragon rebel tent. We had talked about, oh, this is also by Inverisla. So we did talk about in the dragon area how there's potential that it doesn't have to be just monsters. There could also be uh, rebel like dwarves or even orcs that may have just defected to the dragon side because for some reason they don't believe in what their own species is fighting for and they'd rather fight for the dragons or perhaps the dragons have some type of uh, mind control capabilities and they're able to uh, take some of the less intellectually capable orcs and dwarves and kind of convert them to their cause. And these, I guess, are the tents that they could stay in. So let's go ahead and take a look in here. We got a weapon, we got like a, a mace, a bow, shields, a seat, a table with a big sword on it, and some very gray lamps. Gray light is the best light of all, especially if you're mind controlled by monsters. Maybe that's how they keep them subdued. Gray light. All right, so we're just gonna weld this thing up here with, um, actually I should probably have it facing this way since whoever is gonna live in here is probably gonna wanna go out along that way. All right, there we go. It's welded into the world now. Another great addition to the medieval fantasy world dragon area. All right, welcome back to the orc area. Now you may remember we added this stuff not too long ago. So we're gonna take a look at some other orc submissions and uh, make this place look a little bit more lively for the upcoming battle. Ooh, now this looks really interesting. This is by Blackbird. This is an orc bestiary. An old ruin turned into a big beast cage. With only one key, the cages will be opened and the wargs will be ready to ride to war. All right, let's uh, hope it's not too laggy or anything. Actually, this feels no different at all. Even I haven't even welded it yet and check this out. All right, so let's go ahead and... um. Oh, this must be like a cell. Yeah, that's definitely a cell. And then, oh wait, no, that that unlocked everything, didn't it? Ah, okay. 
Okay, so no, there's just this is probably where you keep like the, the the more dangerous animal, and then you can keep the ones that aren't gonna get through wood over here. This is a pretty cool idea. I like this a lot. But uh, look, there's more to it. Let's go around. Uh, how do you get up there? Is there a way up? Wait, is there stairs over here? Is there a way up? How do we get? Can we go through here? Hold on. Up. 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 Yeah. There we go. All right, we got some wood falling down, and oh, is this an actual thing? Oh, oh, uh, oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I get it. Ah, that's how you feed the animal. You feed it human flesh. <laughs> that's kind of, it's kind of creepy, but that, <laughs> that's really funny. I like this. This is a cool creation. This looks really good too. Like the just even like the destruction up there. The Damaged archways and it's really cool looking. All right, so where do we put this? I feel like this is kind of like a um, side thing. Like it's gonna go off to the side somewhere. Not really in the back, but like on the side. No, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this side over here. We're just gonna head in this direction, and we're just gonna weld it down in this area. All right, there we go. We now have a bestiary in our orc town village camp. All right, so now we have this Chieftain's Hall thing, which uh, we already have a Chieftain's Hall, but I think this Chieftain's Hall could be substituted for just like another type of hall. This is by Yaskin for it. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, okay. No, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good. It was a little bit laggy at first. But yeah, I think just having a couple of these around the camp, I think that's going to go a long way to making this thing look a lot more busy, a lot more populated. Oh, grabbing this thing on a lift does weird things. But uh, so yeah, let's find some spots to weld it and see how it looks. I feel like having a couple like behind, but to the sides of the Chieftain's Hall would look really good. So can I weld from this? Yes, I can weld on the side. That's good. All uh, right, yeah, so we're gonna weld this like right there we go. Now, unfortunately it's a little bit off the ground, but um, oh, you know what? We could just do a little bit of that and then drag this down and just fill this in with like a clay looking or dirt looking uh, just layer. There we go. I think that looks much better than floating off the ground. All right, so now let's add another one. I'm gonna try to make it as symmetrical as I can, but it's just gonna be guesswork. I'm gonna add another one over on this side. Uh, hopefully that'll look similar. All right, there we go. Uh, hut two, I don't, know, I don't know what to call them. Let's take a look from the front and see how symmetrical they look. All right, actually, that is not too bad if I do say so myself, which I did. So it's not, not too bad. Okay, so now I think we actually have some smaller things for the orcs for them to uh, be in. Yeah, here we go. So we have like little orc barracks. They're a little bit of a different color scheme, but I think we can kind of, um, we can say that this is like a fabric. So they've added like a fabric tent, so it's not quite as sturdy as the other ones. This is also by Inverisla. Been submitting a lot of stuff recently. These are the more recent ones. Tent for two orcs, and then you have a weapons tent here. So this is kind of cool. Let's uh, spawn in a couple of these. Let's take a look inside. Oh yeah, look at that. So we got a bed over here and a bed over there. So we could just put a handful of these around the encampment and that should just add a little bit more busyness to the general area that'll make it seem more lived in. All right, so we got the uh, sleeping tents in here. So now let's take a look at the weapons tent. What do we got inside the weapons tent? Looks like we got some type of act, like double axe thing, uh, swords, hammer, and I'm assuming that's a shield on the wall up there. All right, so let's put a couple of these around here too, and we will have ourselves some orc quarters or whatever you want to say they are. I kind of feel like welding these to like the side of the tent makes the most sense, because then like the orcs can just come out. If, I mean, they have weapons in their tents, but if they need extra weapons because they're orcs, then they could just come out and grab a whole thing of weapons. So maybe I'll do that. All right, there we go. Now we got like a double tent system going on there. And I think that that is kind of good enough for that. I think the only thing left to do for the orc area right now is just let's put some orcs in here. So this is, these are all made by Bubilastic. So we got an orc pack. So I'll just spawn a handful of these in and these orcs are giant compared to the doors of these building. Oh, okay. You know, let's just, just ignore that right now. Just never mind about that uh, discrepancy between the orc sizes and the sizes of the buildings. 
All right, check that out. We got some orcs guarding the door to the chieftain's hall. We got some orcs over there just kind of hanging out by the bestiary because you're going to need some. And I guess we could probably put some more orcs by like those tents, whatever those kind of tents would be. I'm not too sure, but they might as well be there. You know, it's good to put orcs right next to the doorways that are too small with them just to kind of emphasize the discrepancy. You know, just have that direct comparison orc to doorway. There we go. I mean, they're kind of levitating above the ground, but there's not much I could do about that. The ground level is like in between block uh, grids. So we kind of have to have them above the ground level, unfortunately. All right. So I guess I'll put some like over by this tent area. Just kind of chilling, relaxing, hanging out. All right. So this is the updated orc encampment. We got the guard towers at the front. We got the bestiary on the right. The chieftain's hall guarded. We got the tents and everything i think this looks much better than it did 20 minutes ago so let's head over to our gigantic castle over here and uh, there's a couple more things i want to look at that were submitted for this area in particular but i mean can we actually appreciate how this is looking from the air like just from the aerial view with what we have in here so far like this is not half bad this whole world to be honest we have so much I think this is the most we've ever put as far as welding objects. This is the most we've ever put into any of our community builds. Like there is a lot of things here. Not to mention that all the tiles were made by you guys. Like this is a really impressive um, feat of collaboration that we've got going on here. I'm proud of, I'm so proud of this community. But we've got some foliage things to put in here. So check out this tree by Ninja Zyborg. I'm just going to go ahead and spawn in a handful of these and just place them around, weld them to the ground here and there, and um, add a little bit of atmosphere to this place. All right, you can see we actually got some other trees here. This is by, these, two of these are by Blackbird, and these things look kind of crazy. Like, actually, what's the size of these? Whoa. That's a lot. Like, are these... That's a lot of individual wedge pieces that this person placed. Like, that that couldn't have been easy. Like, there's branches and everything. Like, there's individual branches with his leaves at the ends of the branch. This is crazy. This is a crazy tree. All right, looking forward to placing some of these around. And we got two variations to pull from, too. So this is kind of cool. All right, check that out. That thing looks awesome. All right, and here is the second variation, so you can see the difference between them. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one over on this side of, um, what is it? This is just a house, isn't it? That's the tavern. This is a house. Yeah, check, check this stuff out. This is, this adds a whole lot to this place, I think. So Blackbird also made a bush, uh, using the same kind of concept. So look at this thing. Now, what I'm thinking is I'm actually going to line this road with these bushes. I think that'll be a cool idea. All right, check this out. I don't think it looks too bad. It would be nice if my road was a little bit more centered with the entrance instead of being at like a slight angle, but um, it's kind of hard to tell what you're doing in the tile builder compared to the actual world. So this is what we're going to have to deal with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all you OCD people out there. All right, so this is the updated castle with the new foliage and stuff, and I think it adds a lot. It's very subtle, but I think it adds a lot to just the overall visual aesthetic of this area. It fills in some of the empty space. It makes it look a little bit more upscale and fancy. And uh, yeah, even the, bush, the bushes actually look way better from up here than they do up close. So that's good. Okay, so here's where I ask for a like pretty much a final batch of submissions. I am looking for more weapons, siege weapons, things that we can use in the final battle for the sword, the god sword of power here in the middle. I think it'd be really nice to just have a few more, not too complex, like things that aren't gonna lag out the world, just some more simplistic, but aesthetically pleasing siege weapons and things like that. So whether it be catapults or battering rams or uh, ballistas or whatever. I think uh, those are what I'm gonna be looking for for making the final video. Now, I'm not gonna tell you when the final video is gonna be. It it may be next week. It may be the week after. I don't know yet. We may do a, one or two more episodes of showing off some of the overlooked creations. But uh, let me know so far what you guys are thinking. What do you wanna see in the final episode? 
And if you missed some of the previous episodes, then please go ahead and check out this playlist right here. Actually, just click on it and just take a look at the, the whole list of videos because this is everything we've done in this series. And there might be some things that you missed. You never know. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.